have to jog now, actually, because otherwise I'm going to miss the bus. Uh, is the bus coming? I don't think it is. Okay. Bus isn't coming yet, so I think I should have a bit of time, but let's just get over to the bus stop on the cross road up here. Uh, is the track like red? Uh, yeah, it is red. Okay, I should be able to cross. It's quite quiet on the road here today, so let's just head over to the bus stop. We're getting the bus over to Springfield here, and oh, that's the bus coming. Come on. All right, red light. Uh, let's just go and cross the road. Is that the bus or is that an ambulance? That looks like the bus to me. That looks like the bus to me. All right, let's go and get across the road here. Yeah, so we're going for a day trip in Springfield today here. All right, let's just go and uh, wait over here. Go and sit down, actually, because it's been a, been a bit of a tiring run there. All right, we only made that about 30 seconds there. Yeah, the bus is coming right now. I got my heart rate up a bit there. Okay, there we go. We've got the bus. Let's go and line up here. We've got my card in my hand. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Just go and pay that. Perfect. We'll go and find ourselves a nice seat. Uh, let's go over here. Window seat. Perfect. We got a nice window seat over here. All right, and we're off. We are off here. Okay, anyways, uh, so yeah, I think the bus, I, I had a look online earlier, so I wasn't stuck in traffic and everything, but the bus normally takes around 30 minutes to get over there, so it shouldn't be too bad. Anyways, I haven't actually used the public transport here, but it seems like over the past few years, Liberty County have introduced a really nice uh, kind of transport system. Oh, look, we're on the wrong side. Yeah, that's unfortunate, having, they've got the doors on this side, and the bus stops on this side. Huh, that's, that's slightly unfortunate, I guess, with the, the placement of that here. Anyways, uh, the bus is actually filling up. I think it's going to be full in just a moment here. Is that person getting on the bus stop? Nope. Okay, they're just waiting there. I guess they're waiting for another bus because there's, there's multiple other buses you could get. This is honestly a great way to travel because I don't actually have a car. Um, now, I did have a car and then I sold it because the amount I used the car was... Oh, what is going on here? What is going on here? There's like DOT? Is this a... Oh, they've closed part of the road off. Oh. Oh, well, okay, they must be doing some more road works there. Oh, there's only, we've only got like three or four seats left here. I think these are the last people to get on the bus. Otherwise, I don't know what happens when the, the bus is full. Like, do they just close or something? Now we're going to head on to the highway and then we can head over to Springfield. This is going to be fun. It's going to be fun. So we're heading over to the classic fire station over at Springfield. Uh, it's like an open day over there, so it's quite interesting. Uh, you can actually go and visit like the, the first fire station in Springfield. And it's older than the one in River City. The River City fire station is only a couple years old, but this one's like... I think it's 50 years old or something. It's really, really cool, honestly. These buses feel like they can go pretty fast, honestly. Yeah, jeez, this is... Whoa! It's me. What? Oh my gosh, what happened there? What is... Whoa, okay, I think we just... We just ran right into the tree in the middle of the road. There's a tire on my... How is there a tire? Okay, is there anyone else who can help me? Goodness me, what even happened here? Okay, um, okay, can I, like, crawl out of here? We're sideways. Wait. Yeah, we're sideways. We're, we're on our side right now in the middle of the road. I'm trying to get out of my seat there. Goodness me, like, if that was a meter left or right left? I, I don't even know. I'm, this is so disorientating. Where are we? Goodness me. All right. Um, let's try and get people out of here, I guess. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we're filling up with smoke, actually. Come on. Hey, everyone. Everyone, come on. Let's get you out of here, okay? I'm going to get out. Of, oh, my God. Gosh, whoa, okay. All right, someone broke the windows. I guess that's helpful. All right, let's try and get out through the door there. Just go and climb out there. All right, there we go. There we go. Let's just help out as many people as possible. Come on, let's go. Get out of here. Get out of here. Goodness me. Can you call uh, FD? Call, uh, can you call fire department? I don't think my phone, yeah, I smashed my phone. Uh, yeah, can someone, all right, are you okay? Yeah, thank you. Just call FD as quickly as possible here. Goodness me, this, if this thing like comes crashing down, is there anyone inside these vehicles? Hello? Hello? I don't think there's any inside there. Okay, uh, yeah, just go and call FD. Uh, go and call FD. Can we use the roof of your car to just try and, as a ladder, I guess, to get people out? Hey, sir! Goodness me, where'd they fall? Sir, you okay? You okay? Alright, um, let's just go and try and grab out. Hey, come on, grab my hand, grab my hand. Try and get out. You able to pull, pull yourself out there? Yeah, I'm slipping all the way down into there. It's so slippery. Oh my. We've got someone stuck underneath. Around the other side. Okay, okay. Let's get everyone back. Can we... Move everyone back over towards the, the blue pickup over there, because if this vehicle falls down, you're going to be crushed. Uh, I'll, I'll help you carry them, okay? Uh, you take their you take their left arm, I'll take their right arm. Can you take their legs? Come on, come over here. Let's just get them out of the way. DOT's here, but we really need FD. Okay, perfect. Let's just drag them away here so the vehicle doesn't fall on them. we have someone under. Hey, can you hear me? Can you hear me? We really don't want that vehicle to come crashing down on me. Okay, I think... Oh, oh my... Okay, what just happened there? Oh, the DOT's clever. They're using the, the back to support the vehicle. That's clever. Yeah, be careful. Be careful under there. 
There's someone stuck under there. And okay, we've got FD coming over here now, which is really good to see. Okay, how many people? I think there's like three or four people still inside. Let's just go and see if we can get anyone out before FD continues. Hey, can you give me a hand? Oh my, okay, I'm gonna slip inside. I do not wanna get stuck inside. I could really easily cut my leg on some of the metal there that's exposed or some wiring. Yeah, come on, can you can you get my hand? I'm slipping down further and further. Can you get my hand? Can you, okay, okay, I'm gonna have to leave you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, fire department's gonna come in a moment. Oh, we need people inside. There's people trapped inside in the, in the front cabin. There's people trapped inside. Can they put up some hydraulic pumps or? levers or something to support that yeah there's people inside there's i think like three or four the driver's stuck inside there as well yeah inside inside goodness me this okay this got really crazy fast um at least we've got a ton of fd which is really good to see and the response time was very impressive but now they've just got to get everyone out of there so uh, i think yeah they're gonna get a ladder up and um try to get things moving away they moved the red vehicle away already and now now they just have to get everyone out, because there's still like three or four people trapped inside the main cabin. I think there must have been some, maybe, high winds earlier today, kind of blew down. I think these trees came from over there, there's like a forest behind the DOT station. Must have blown down these trees here. Uh, yeah, and then I need to cut the branches as well. Yeah, I think they've broken their back or s I, I don't know, the, that is not how a human is supposed to look anyways. Alright, well fire department's working there, I'm gonna stay back in case the vehicle does fall down. Oh, there's also someone in the back there. There's also someone in the back. There's, oh yeah, there's someone in the back slipping down. Oh goodness me, I can't even help them because I can't go in there far enough to get them out, but yeah, they're they're in the back slipping down. So there's two people inside, we've got DOT over there, and this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Police have blocked off the road, or sheriffs, I'm sorry, blocked off the road here. I've never ever seen this much, or this many fire department in my life, there's like 10, 11 units. Okay, maybe, maybe not, but that's a bit of an exaggeration, but still. So there's so many people. I'm luckily not injured. Well, I hit my head really hard against the seat in front of me and my right leg was sort of trapped. But apart from that, I think I, I was sitting in a good position. I was far enough back in the in the bus. I think everyone in the back of the bus was fine because the front of the bus took the impact, I'm guessing. But yeah, I, I was fine. A couple people as well are still fine. And then um, we've got people with major injuries, which I really hope they're gonna be okay. What happened? Well. I can explain this pretty simply. We're driving down the road. The driver at the last moment saw some trees that were had fallen on the road and then swerved to avoid them, as you can see, and then went right into them. I think FD are trying to break open the, the door now because they may have closed. I think the power's gone out in the vehicle there. So yeah, that's pretty much what happened. I got knocked out. I woke up a couple moments. It could have been minutes, could have been seconds. Yeah, it was probably minutes later I woke up and then realized we had to get out of there quickly. And uh, me and a couple other people tried to get as many of the... Uh, injured out of the vehicle as possible, but yeah, it all, all happened so fast, honestly. I have to say, the DOT, they had a very clever idea using the um, the tow hitch or, yeah, the tow support to actually keep up the Valley Transit vehicle there. That was very clever until FD arrived, so I have to give them credit for that, and yeah, they managed to spawn pretty quickly here. So FD seems to be trying to, I think there's some people actually still trapped inside here. Um, hello there, hello. Yeah, I think there's some people still trapped inside. Yeah, I'm doing fine. I got a bit of a, a ba got a bit of a bang on my head, but uh, apart from that, I seem to be doing fine. Thanks. I want to make sure everyone actually gets out of the vehicle there. Uh, no, I'm okay, thank you. I'm okay. I'll get checked up by the medics in a moment, but at the moment I'm okay. Oh, they've got it open. Actually, DOT, DOT are getting all the trees away, which is really good. And I think there's one more. Is that the driver? The driver's still in there, like 10, 15 minutes later. All right, I think after you're having a hard time getting them out, they're probably stuck under the wheel or... Actually, yeah, if the vehicle went into a tree, they're probably pinned under the wheel there. Yeah, the driver's stuck. The white BM... I think they're moving the white BMW back. That's not good. That's not good. The white BMW is one of the only things supporting I know they've got hydraulic stabilizers, whatever they call those, but... Still, the white BMW is pretty much holding the entire weight of the back. You're just having the same... Yeah, I've, I've given my statement. Honestly, I'm pretty useless at this. I haven't really been able to recall much. I apologize. Yeah, most, yeah, pretty much all I've been able to recall is us crashing. I blacked out or hit my head or something like that. I don't remember things for a few moments and then, oh, goodness me. All right, the, the van just fell. The bus just fell there. Was that part of the plan? Not sure there. Is there, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that a fighter? 
Yeah, that's a firefighter stuck under the bus. Let's see, okay, they've managed to get it. They managed to lift up the front of the vehicle, so I think they can drag the firefighter out, which is good. And we got another bus en route. Oh, okay, so is that to transport us to our destination? Oh, yeah, I, I appreciate that. I didn't even, I didn't even take that into consideration. Uh, but yeah, thank you, I appreciate that. Do you have an uh, estimate of when your next uh, bus will come? Just because I've kind of got tickets here going to a firehouse open day and just wondering if I will actually make it. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, okay, well, thank you. I'll, I'll be waiting around here and I think there's a couple more people. Uh, cars around the corner. All right. Well, thank you. Good to meet you. And uh, I, I appreciate you being straightforward and everything. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good day. Have a good day. Goodness me. All right. So they're towing the vehicle back around there. Not in good condition. I tell you that. Um, and then, yeah, there it goes. Oh, yeah. Just to let you know, they're trying to get another bus over here. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Just a bit rattled after all that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you did enjoy. If you did, please do go and consider subscribing. It's to help out the channel a lot. A massive thanks to everyone taking part in today's video. If you'd like to be in future videos, go and join my Discord server and Robo Scoops. The link's in the description. Anyways, have a great day and that's the next one. Goodbye.